Oh, on your mark. Get set. Go. Painted the undercarriage here where you're gonna see it. Everywhere else I'm leaving red. Painted the uh, footrest and then the rest of it's gonna be blue, so it'll look pretty cool. The paint I'm using for this is a Supermax all-in-one paint and primer. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a hammered metal look, so that'll be kind of cool. I love that blue, it's all sparkly. Job. All right, got the first coat of blue on. This looks pretty awesome. So here's the frame. Got everything unhooked. What we're going to do is replace this controller with a 36 volt, 1000 watt controller. I'm gonna be hooking up two of these in series and I'm gonna be running this on two 18 volt batteries. So it'll give me 36 volts total. So the new controller will be able to handle that. The motor, however, um, we'll see how long it holds up, but should be okay for now. All right, not gonna lie, pretty exhausted. I have been working on this four wheeler all day and it's been challenging, um, but I think I got it. So I'm gonna give you a little walk through what I did here before I put it together. So I have two Ryobi batteries on either side. And what I did is I got a uh, plate, electrical plate, and it lined up. So on the other side are these two grooves or holes or whatever you wanna call them. There's two over here as well that line up perfectly with the existing holes in this plate. So I got kind of lucky there. They lined up perfectly. And then this green bracket had a hole that lined up perfectly with the hole in the plate. And then I super glued it as well. So there's one on either side and then I have it all wired up and then everything's running into the controller. And honestly, I don't know what was going on. I've been working on this forever and it has not worked but all of a sudden it started working. Now I just gotta put it, put it together a little bit so we can test drive it. And let's see if our paint is dry yet from earlier today. Sparkly, it's dry, it's ready. That looks super cool. Obviously it's not fully put together yet um, but we just wanted to make sure everything was working good. It's definitely uh, faster, right, bud? Yeah. Go ahead. All right, so last night we tested the speed and we had that. Okay, ready, bud? Yeah. On your mark. Get set. Go. Go! All right, shaved off almost three seconds. We'll have to get it put together. Huh? The four-wheeler 
is all pieced back together. We got it painted. We got it all wired up. Turned out really good. Carson's excited. And we're going to give it a, another test spin now that it's all wired up. So I'll be honest, I struggled quite a bit with the wiring. I think I had a bad controller and throttle. It took me a while to diagnose that, figure that out. But let's change some things around a little bit. Here's the new on and off switch down here on the side. And I replaced the throttle and the controller. Covered up the hole there. Love how the blue looks. Let me show you real quick how we wired this up. So the two Ryobi packs on either side. And they're running into the controller, which is mounted up there. And I custom made some plates, as I showed you before. But this thing is definitely fast. So let's take it for a little spin, buddy. Four-wheeler's all done. Carson and I are gonna race. I'm driving this little pocket scooter. And we're gonna race, ready? Thanks for watching our video about the full wheeler. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, let's go.